given PQ plus QR plus RP is equal to 0. Then find 1 by P square minus QR plus 1 by Q square minus RP plus 1 by R square minus PQ. Here PQ plus QR plus RP is equal to 0. That means minus QR is equal to PQ plus RP. So this will become first term will become 1 by P square minus QR. Minus QR is equal to PQ plus RP. Again second term is 1 by Q square minus RP. Minus RP is equal to PQ plus QR. Again third term is 1 by R square minus PQ. Minus PQ is equal to QR plus RP. Now, in the first term, P is common. So, 1 by P into P plus Q plus R. Again, second term, Q is common. So, 1 by Q into P plus Q plus R. Again, in third term, R is common. So, 1 by R into P plus Q plus R. Now, here 1 by P. P into P plus Q plus R. In second term, there is P plus Q plus R. Third term also P plus Q plus R. So, take P plus Q plus R out. The remaining is 1 by P plus 1 by Q plus 1 by R. Here, this will become 1 by P plus Q plus R into this will become PQ plus QR plus RP divided by PQR. PQ plus QR plus RP divided by PQR. Here PQ plus QR plus RP is 0. That means the result will become 0. This is 0. Your answer is 0. So, option A is your answer.